Have you ever wondered how kangaroos can hop so far and fast without getting tired? It's all down to their unique physiology. These Australian icons have a special way of getting about, hopping. Now this isn't just a charming eccentricity, it's an incredibly efficient mode of locomotion. Imagine you're a kangaroo. With each hop, you can cover nearly nine meters. That's about the length of a typical city bus. And when you really need to hustle, you can ramp up your speed to 60 kilometers per hour. That's faster than a racehorse. Here's the kicker. The longer and faster you hop, the less energy you use. It's as if each bound gives you a spring in your step, quite literally. This energy-saving mode of travel is due to their highly elastic tendons and unique large foot structure, which acts like a spring. So the next time you see a kangaroo hopping along, remember, it's not just a funny way of getting around. It's a highly efficient mode of travel. Did you know that kangaroos have a complex social structure, similar to that of some primates? These creatures live in groups known as mobs or troops, and it's not all about hopping and boxing. In fact, kangaroos have a distinctive dominance hierarchy within these groups. Male kangaroos, or boomers, establish their superiority through boxing matches. It's an impressive sight, but it's not merely for sport. It's a critical part of their social dynamics. And let's not forget the females or flyers. They exhibit incredible maternal instincts, raising their joeys in a pouch. This unique way of rearing their young ensures they're protected from predators and harsh weather conditions. It's fascinating how these marsupials juggle between nurturing their young and maintaining their social standing in the mob. So, the next time someone calls you a social animal, you might want to take it as a compliment. After all, kangaroos are rather social too. How do kangaroos survive in the harsh Australian outback, you ask? Well, the kangaroo is a creature that's a master of adaption. Their survival in the arid landscapes of Australia is nothing short of a marvel. They've evolved a lifestyle that allows them to thrive where others would merely survive. One of their most impressive adaptations is their ability to go for long periods without water. In fact, they can go months without a sip, subsisting on the moisture found in the plants they eat. Now that's what I call a low-maintenance diet. Speaking of diet, kangaroos have a specialised one. They primarily eat grass, leaves and other vegetation, which are plentiful in the outback. This diet, low in nutrients but high in roughage, is perfectly suited to their complex digestive system. Now, let's hop onto their physical adaptations. The kangaroo's strong hind legs and large feet aren't just for show. They're built for speed, agility and, most importantly, efficient travel across vast distances in search of food and water. And let's not forget about the heat. How do kangaroos keep their cool, you wonder? Well, when the temperature rises, kangaroos lick their forearms and as the saliva evaporates, it cools them down. They also pant like dogs to regulate their body temperature. So, from their diet to their physicality, kangaroos are perfectly adapted to their environment. In the face of adversity, kangaroos certainly hop to the challenge. Despite their adaptability and resilience, did you know kangaroos face numerous threats? Yes, even these bouncy wonders aren't immune to the perils of our modern world. Habitat loss is a major concern, as humans continue to expand their cities and farming lands. Our kangaroo friends are losing their homes at a startling rate. Then there's disease. Conditions such as the lumpy jaw disease caused by a bacteria can be devastating to kangaroo populations. And let's not forget hunting. While kangaroos are often hunted for their meat and hides, overhunting can lead to a significant decline in their numbers. But don't despair. There are many dedicated individuals and organizations working tirelessly to protect kangaroos. From habitat restoration projects to laws regulating hunting, steps are being taken to ensure these iconic creatures continue to thrive. And you too can contribute. Whether it's supporting a conservation organization or simply spreading awareness about the plight of kangaroos, every action counts. Now, let's take a moment to dispel a common myth. No, kangaroos don't carry their young in their pouches forever. While young kangaroos, called joeys, do spend considerable time in the pouch, they eventually grow up and hop off to live their own lives. Kangaroos may be tough, but they can't hop away from these problems. They need our help.